Hi, this is Brad Linder with Little Puting, and I'm here with Razer's Project Linda, which is a sort of concept device that they're showing off. Uh, Razer has a tendency to show off interesting concepts that may or may not come to market at the Consumer Electronics Show. This is one of the more unusual devices we've seen. It's not the first time we've seen a phone that's used as sort of uh, uh, the pet brains of a laptop, but it's one of the more complete solutions that I've seen, even though it is just the prototype stage. So what we're looking at here is the Razer smartphone, which came out in 2017, and it's fitting into the space where you would normally have a touchpad on a laptop, and we've got Android software running on the fuller uh, version, but it's sort of a desktop mode. Uh, I think it's using Sentio desktop software to sort of give you the taskbar and um, uh, desktop experience so that you can run applications in Windows, resize them. So not everything has to run full screen the way it usually does on an Android device. The phone comes comes in and out, if you can show me sort of how that works here. Um, so there's a button on the top right, it's our dock on dock button. You press that, it disengages from the phone, allows you to easily lift it out of the chassis. And then I'll show you real quick what that mechanism is doing behind the scenes. It's just a USB-C connector that slides into place to engage the phone and then retracts when you need to remove it. So when the phone's in place, it's not going to fall out, you've got a nice firm collection. Just go ahead and put that back in. And then we just hit that button again. It recognizes it's been blocked back into Project Linda. It launches the Sentio desktop app. So you get right back to that experience. And so now what we've got is the dimmer display here. Uh, is it being charged as this happens? So, yeah, so there's a battery inside it to act as a power bank. It can fully recharge the Razer phone over three times. It's a large capacity battery. We don't have estimates on total run time yet. We're still in the kind of prototype concept phase. Um, the other thing is this um, is dim on this concept acting as a touchpad. That's the most basic functionality. What we're showing over there under glass is a, a more visual idea of what the concept is of lighting up the screen and using it. So dual screens, running a different app down here, maybe you're in Lightroom and you got all your sliders and controls down here. Really cool functionality when you have a second interface. So we would also make this touch enabled then, so we can have dual touch screens, so you can interface here, navigate up here. And so what you've got here is, again, sort of the uh, typical Android software. We uh, can run Android applications. But when you're in the Sentio desktop mode, you get the taskbar, you've got the notifications, you've got a sort of start menu, uh, maybe. Uh, there we go, start menu style uh, user interface. Uh, alt tab functionality. But then you can also uh, you know, swipe down from the top in the sort of more traditional Android software. So anything that you can run on the Android phone, you can run here, including Android games. But you're running it on a 13.3 inch uh, quad HD display. Uh, the laptop, uh, all, all together weighs about 2.75 pounds. Uh, I believe that I saw it has about a 53 watt hour battery. So while well, we're not doing the official battery life estimates, the fact that you, you know the phone gets uh, you know at least half a day, maybe all day battery life on its own, and you can charge it three times, that gives you an idea of what to expect here. So um, overall, in terms of, uh, I mean, it looks like a laptop. It's got a backlit keyboard. You can see that we've got um, sort of different colors of the keys here, ability to play games. You can stream games if you want to stream uh, uh, games from a service that wouldn't be compatible with an Android device. You can use remote desktop software if you want to uh, log into a remote Windows PC and access Windows applications. We've got USB ports so you can uh, connect a keyboard or a mouse or you can use wireless accessories if you need to. So overall, it really does take uh, what's an Android phone and make it into more of a desktop or a laptop style experience for use on the go. So. Uh, it's not quite one device that does everything, but it's one device that with a docking station almost does everything. Uh, in terms of Windows applications though, there's uh, mobile versions of uh, Word and Excel and things like that that you could run. If you really need desktop functionality and don't want to have to use a remote desktop, Razer does sell laptops that have Windows software as well. But this is an interesting concept. It's one of the more unusual devices that we're seeing here on display at the Consumer Electronics Show. And it may or may not come to market in the future, so depending on the feedback that, uh, that Razer gets. So uh, we've got a USB Type-C charger here on the back, USB port uh, that's used for a uh, wireless accessory or a, a wireless mouse dongle here, and uh, the Razer phone, which is driving the entire experience. And uh, audio output too, so you can plug in headphones uh, while you're at it. So that's a quick look at Razer. Razer's Project Linda concept at the Consumer Electronics Show at Las Vegas in 2018. This is Brad Linder with Lilla Beauty.